going to move on to uh, Richard Martin. Richard, you ready to go? We're just going to let you, you kick it off here. I, I am ready to go, Chris. Thanks so much. And Valerie, what a fantastic presentation. Very inspired. I'm going to share my screen. Um, and um, hopefully this goes. Yeah. Yep, you're there, I think. Yeah, I was just going to go to full screen. Um, and Valerie, there's some other questions in the Q&A. If you wanted to type an answer to those people, you could do that. Um, if you wanted, once we get going here. There it goes. I think that's full screen now. Okay. Perfect. Right. Well, it's so, so excited to be here, and I'm really pumped for June. And um, I love your new website posting. That's an example of that on my first plate. Um, I'm so excited to be working with all these people, <laughs> so, uh, Valerie, Angie, Albert, Alan, and Nick. And uh, I think it's, as we were discussing before we started, <clears throat> it's, it's a really nice blend of varying talents. So I kind of jokingly refer to it as like a snack, Kellogg snack pack of uh, photographers. So we get a little bit of everything. Um, what I want to uh, concentrate on this short 10 minutes, which I was going to time myself. Because I'm not very good at the time saying, OK, so I wanted to concentrate on uh, geometric ab abstraction and urban environments. And um, for me, I mean, I'm kind of known for a lot of natural world photography, like nature, landscape, but I, I have an entire body of work of contemporary architecture. I also have a lot of street photography from various countries. So I'm, I'm able to work in all the different genres and I don't really think of them as different genres as much as the way I see. And it's, to me, for me, it's about vision and creativity and open-minded. Uh, you know, looking around like that. And I'm I'm very interested in known for composition and design. So I think my 30 years of teaching workshops, I think I bring um, that uh, helping the participants see in different ways. And also when I'm with people, I can actually show them, you know, what I see, where I'm standing, where they are standing. So it's kind of interesting. Um, so my focus even though I can do the traditional street photography, so to speak. I think my focus in Chicago, and what I'm excited about, is the modern architecture. And um, I would like to concentrate on that aspect. And of course, if there's anything else, when I'm doing this kind of thing, if I see opportunities uh, with people in the context of that, I will definitely do that. So I'm not sort of stuck to one. So um, the image on the left um, is a, um, a, re a reverse mirror image. Of, so it's kind of somewhat abstract in the sense that, but it's it's a true documentation, but it's flipped, mirrored, and just playing with um, playing with uh, the geometry. And I'm always interested in, even from school, very interested in those uh, building blocks that you have, like the and and uh, so my my background is also in architecture. So I'm an architectural technologist, but uh, I had uh, 16 years in a design firm and. Uh, so I have that background, but you know, photography is is such an exciting uh, medium to uh, express ideas, and that is expressed through you know design and and the building blocks of design and how they are arranged in the picture space. So kind of like a focus on that a little bit with my short talk. Um, this doing this uh, technique of reverse mirroring here sort of simplifies uh, the use of lines and uh, the energy that that creates visually speaking. Um, I like to work with details and um, I was I was always joking about you can blindfold me and, and I can be dropped anywhere and find images. So I'm I'm really interested in just looking at um, objects and designing and finding something that's interesting in shape. So shape is one of the primary um, things that I look for in design. And of course, in composition, I'm not a big uh, fan of rules. Uh, I'm more interested in relationship of the building blocks in the picture space. So kind of that kind of directs my attention to uh, to finding and designing these images. And they're all, you know, reality. So um, we have limitations, but um, there's, there's another example of very, very geometric um, possibilities in buildings. And one on the left is actually a large sculpture installation. 
but it's also architecturally, you know, so I don't, just because I'm photographing, if I'm photographing architecture in a city, modern city, I will still look for other things and including sculpture and uh, those kind of things. So it's really about light and the building blocks of design and how they are arranged in the picture space, because that's, you know, the difference between a certain composition between one comparison to the other is about the strength of the visual part. So that's something that I like to work with uh, with people and help them uh, not I never impose my my vision on people, but I'll ask questions about what they're photographing in terms of you know critiquing live on their camera, even on the spot, as well as afterwards. But uh, it's nice to be able to do a bit of feedback critique in real time because people are standing right in the same spot. And um, so that's, uh, I can help people find <clears throat> the geometry in the architecture and many more other things aside from just that. It's not just one thing. They're all interrelated uh, aspects. You could have curvilinear uh, ideas. You can have very angular shapes and um, they all express uh, different feelings. And ultimately what you look at and what excites you when you point your camera should speak to you personally. And uh, so I think the strength is for me to help uh, people interpret what is in front of them and also help them open their minds to the possibilities because I think the, the label thing, which is always a deterrent for a lot of people, you know, they you hear the word street, you hear the word abstract or whatever, um, and you sometimes you kind of pre-visualize or, or you're stuck on those ideas. But I think it's nice to loosen up and uh, and just explore the visual world in different ways. And it just happens to be in Chicago, which is a fantastic place to uh, to do that. Um, I also love doing studies of details, and uh, this is a staircase and just different interpretations of that. And I find myself I'm I'm very slow at moving around in terms of looking at things for a while, and I want to like especially with this kind of thing, um, it takes time to find designs. And I think that's important to help people kind of slow down and, and looking for things and not just have they, I call it hurry sickness. When I teach workshops, I've been doing, I've been teaching workshops for 30 years. And I, I have this phrase, hurry sickness, when people move too quickly um, and they don't actually spend enough time to get through the layers of what they see. Because you see something and make a photograph, but sometimes four or five images later, that's the essence of what you really stop for. But it takes time to find those. So, and I, I'm a strong believer in you know looking at something in different angles and different possibilities. And it's just really fun just to work with the different designs that come from that. And this is other examples of um, you know more curvilinear, curvilinear forms. And um, it's just uh, light, of course, is important, and the tonal contrast they produce. And uh, I. I'm not, uh, you know, we can't control the weather and so on, but uh, I, I found that I can adapt to anything. And, you know, it's not necessarily bad light. It's just uh, the wrong subject matter for that light. So I'm open enough to not be frustrated by various things I can't control. I'll just work with what I have to work with. And it really comes down to that foundation in the craft of, of design. So that's really what carries a message. I mean, that is the vehicle of expression. It's very much parallel to creative writing and you know the way you arrange um, words into sentences and the way you arrange sentences into paragraphs to have clear expression. It's also important to, to have a sort of understanding of design, the relationship of form, how lines work in the picture space. Um, and this can be done completely without rules because rules are very restrictive and they will, you know, pinhole you into one way of doing something. So I trade that, I trade rules with relationship of elements. So that's my, <laughs> my, my thing that I, I try and point out. The image on the right here is just in, in, a, in a cityscape, um, just walking down the street and to a, going to a destination, but the the light on this wall beside this sculpture made me stop in my tracks and i'm often often like that in terms of instead of being fixated on something in your mind i like to go out without preconceived ideas and that way i'm open to everything and um, that's what makes photography exciting um, so if you're only fixated on one thing you miss all the other things and whatever is exciting so the image on the right 
what's made me stop wasn't the sculpture, it was a shaft of light down the wall. So for me, I wanted to work with that light. So I have wanted to design something around the central theme of that shaft of light. And that's what I come up with. So that's the kind of thing that, and I work in black and white and color, although I'm primarily working color, but I love both, both expressions for sure. And uh, just a simple escalator in a subway station. Um, and it was kind of funny because I, I kept riding this escalator and photographing as I would go, and then I would get up and come back down, and then I would go back up again, and I would keep photographing. Got a little bit of vertical sometimes when you uh, make your balance, but it just shows you that you know a subway station uh, escalator can be very powerful in terms of its design, and it's the way you compose it and the design tool that you choose. In this case, um, it was a, a wide angle lens probably in the order of um, a 14 millimeter. I have a full frame uh, Nikon uh, Z7, but yeah, so I don't, off, I don't often use extreme wide angles, but it's a tool that worked for this situation. And, you know, just utilitarian things, um, this is a staircase to a, a utility room on the right-hand side, and the, both of them are just utility stairs. They're not like public fancy stairs, but I was just fascinated by the lines. And so if you can get this into your head by my, my greatest uh, success in, in composition in my photography is not having labels. So I'm just looking at how these lines relate to each other. And I think it has an interesting feel. So ultimately for the, for, for the individual, it has to feel right as a gut feeling from it. So that's my approach. And, you know, there's no sort of um, <clears throat> sort of secrets to that. It's just, being playful, I think that's really important. I think being playful is the most important ingredient in your photography, for sure. And, uh, you know, just letting letting go of, um, we all have um, a lot of memorized vision. I, I find that. And I think that letting go of that is a very, very beneficial. Um, in terms of composition on the left-hand image, I, you know, you can see how this, for me, this works in the sense that I have three areas of similar color which kind of entices the eye to move throughout the picture space. Um, I don't really, um, when I'm out photographing, I'm not really conscious of that, but I study my work afterwards and I study a lot of artwork. And um, I think that goes into my autopilot, my educated imagination. And um, so for me, mostly it's a gut feeling, but I mean, those little things like that bottom, the left image, the bottom um, left corner is very important to have that little bit of gold. So it can relate as a terms of balance in the rest of the picture space. So, you know, and in the black and white image as well as kind of a relationship of sculpture, it's this picture of a sculpture reflecting architecture. So it just shows you that you can express ideas in so many different playful ways. And uh, it's bottom line is that it should be fun. I just love this simple geometry of it's almost like a wave on the ocean. Uh, you know, and um, I just love this, the quiet tonality changes in the, uh, the shade and shadows and just the, the way it defines the architecture. So, in, and it's, you know, if you look at this, everything is deliberate. Every um, edge and relationship to the edges is completely on, on purpose. It's not a mistake. Um, so that's kind of the way I've always, uh, I've worked in film from the first um, many years of my career. Um, and I couldn't crop. So I learned early on to uh, I'd be really careful with composition. And repetition of lines. And this is a simple uh, uh, entrance way to a building. And you never know until you, you know, duck into a building, what you're going to find um, is so surprising. And I keep, you know, every, as much as I go to places over and over again, I keep finding new things all the time. And I don't mind being asked to leave because, you know, it's better to um, ask for forgiveness than ask for permission sometimes. Um, and, um, you know, I've been asked to leave a lot of buildings and, and many times, but I mean, I'm not doing anything wrong. I just sort of say, you sorry about that. But I was just really, I couldn't resist these lines and the, the subtleness between the light of these arches. And um, so it was things like that. And I don't have it grounded. So I'm, I'm making it even more abstract so that the viewer can interpret it on so many different levels. I'm trying to think of where. 
I think I'm a little bit over here. So <laughs> sorry You're about good. that. You're good. You keep going, Richard. Okay. And okay, here's some other examples. And I, I wanted to just show this part of my photography in terms of that. And I, I, I haven't, I do have other stuff which can be shown in other, and when the workshop happens and so on, if we have opportunities. Um, so I'm very excited about this kind of thing. So it's really, you know, the image on the right, the vertical is really just a, a entrance way to a winery. And uh, it doesn't really matter about the labels. I'm just waiting for the group to assemble. And for me, I'm just crazy about light. And really that image on the right is, is about, you know, it's as much about light as it is about the form that's there. Of course, I love that warm color, but I very carefully organize these sh shadows and, and highlights and the color very carefully within the frame. And um, so those are the kind of things that, that you know, I, I, I remember on workshops where people just walk by. And um, so I'm always like, I'll photograph this and I'll run, find some of the participants say, did you see this? Did you see that? And they say, oh, I just walked right by that. But um, so that's just, that's a positive thing about in-person teaching. And on the left-hand side, it's just fascinated by this courtyard um, staircase and it's just that little window and uh, just the relationship in the frame. So it's just so important. It can be, it can make a big difference if you slightly compose it in another way, it can very, it very much change the energy of the picture. So at 100% of that viewfinder is absolutely purposeful. And that's something I always strive to get people to be careful about doing. Um, so I think that, yeah, so I think I'll cut it off there, but so basically I wanted to say that my experience in visual, the visual side of photography and composition and just playfulness is something that, I mean, I have no secrets in my photography, so I'll certainly share everything that I, I have. And the only thing you can't steal is my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I think I'm, I'm a little sorry I'm over. I'm very sorry about that, but. Oh, no, it's amazing. I, it's, I personally am just so excited to uh, shoot alongside you in Chicago this summer in June. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I just can't wait. Like you said, like I've, I've uh, worked with other photographers and they stop and they're like, and, and I just walk right past the things. And so I can't wait to just kind of figure out what your eye sees. And so that's what I think is most exciting about all of this. So really excited great. for Chicago. Um, nice. I know that Valerie just uses, um, her one camera, her one lens, and that's her thing. People are asking, do you carry a big bag of lenses, uh, when you go out or is it kind of a one camera, one lens thing for you, Richard? Oh, people laugh at me that I carry so little equipment, but, um, I'm not a fan of equipment. However, you know, I would like to have, um, I would like to have, well, in the city, I think for some of these things, I would like to have something a little longer than, then, you know, I, I like my um, 28 to 70, and I recently replaced it with a 28 to 200. So I have more overlap now between that and my, my 7300. I'm not an equipment guy, but just looking at these tools, and I was always trying to figure out what's the simplest way I can keep it down to two lenses. And um, so for the kind of thing that I just showed you, it would be useful to have something at least at 200 millimeters. So, so if you have a 70 to 200, and I happen to have a 70 to 300, but it's just there. May I don't always use 300. But so my two lenses would be the 28, 70, 70, 300, or currently 24 or 28 to 200. So I hope I'm not too complicated. Now, that's a Nikon. That's a Nikon Z7. Or in, in the US, it would be Z7, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. So that gives you a huge range and yet at the same time keeps it very simple. So yeah, I like, a, I very much stress a simple approach and I think it's, this doesn't have to be complicated. It's really, the machine should be a second nature, you know, like a good old baseball glove is worn in. It should be something you just grab and you have an idea and work with it. And I, it's sad to see people burdened with technology because it should be a reactive thing. Absolutely. And I yeah, can help get... people with that. I can simplify it. You know, I, I've been doing that for a long time, keeping it simple. All right. Fabulous. Thank you so much, okay. Richard. Thanks.